Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about expectation of a discrete random variable capital X. Now to calculate the expectation of a discrete random variable denoted by E of X, what we do is we multiply small x with probability that the random variable capital X takes this value small x. We then sum over all possible values of small x, which this random variable X can take. Now for as an example, let us consider that X is a Bernoulli random variable and the PMF or the probability mass function of a Bernoulli random variable is given in the slide, which is capital X, which is the random variable, can take two values, one and zero. It takes one with probability P and zero with probability one minus P. So how do we calculate expectation of X for a Bernoulli random variable? To do that, what we do is we multiply one with P and 0 with 1 minus p, which gives us expectation of x as p. Therefore, expectation of a Bernoulli random variable is just the probability that it takes the value 1. Sometimes expectation of a random variable is also denoted using a notation like mu capital X. Now let's look at a more complicated example. Assume that you are tossing four fair coins independently. Let x denote the number of heads that you're going to get in these four tosses. And we are interested in finding expectation of capital X. So to guess, we might assume that on average we should see about two heads in these coin tosses. To calculate expectation of X, what we first have to do is write its PMF or probability mass function. So let's look at the probability mass function of capital X. Now capital X which is the number of heads that you can get in these four coin tosses, can take values 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. That is, you can have zero heads in these four coin tosses, or you can have one head, two heads, three heads, or four heads. These are the only five values that capital X can take. Now let us first consider the sample space of these four coin tosses. Now the sample space is going to be 16. This is because each coin toss can be a head or a tail and hence if you multiply 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 which is 2 to the power of 4, we are going to get 16 as the sample space. I recommend that you write down the entire sample space. You can use H to denote a head and T to denote a tail and you will see that there are 16 such options. Among these 16 options, there is only one option in which X will take a value of 0. That is, there are four tails in succession. Similarly, x will only take the value of four if all the coin tosses result in a head and there is only one such option among the 16 options. Hence, the probability of x taking values of zero and four is one over 16. You can similarly find out the other probabilities for x taking value of one, two and three. The values are given on the slide. Now using this PMF, we have to now calculate the expectation of x. We get the expectation of x as 2 by using the formula for expectation of x in which we multiply 0 with 1 by 2 to the power of 4, 1 with 4 by 2 to the power of 4, 2 with 6 by 2 to the power of 4, 3 with 4 by 2 to the power of 4 and 4 with 1 by 2 to the power of 4. If you do this, you will get 32 in the numerator and 16 in the denominator which will give you the result as 2. With this. We have looked at a particular example of calculating the expectation of a discrete random variable. I will conclude the video here. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel and like my videos. Thank you for watching.